My hope for this talk is that this will be the uh, postdoctoral equivalent of the obligatory talk that all beginning programmers get on how to write comments. Maybe this will be a talk on how not to write comments. You decide. But over my, as I say, 50 years of programming, I've occasionally, often, asked professional programmers, how important are comments to you, to your boss, to your company, to the industry? And as you can perhaps tell from my title, I have a huge spectrum of responses. There is some consistency. Pretty much everybody agrees that comments are much less important than the code. But where on the spectrum it falls, you know, some people think it's on a par with white space. Some people think it's a little more important than white space. So I'd like to explore this just a little bit and, and perhaps tell a war story or two or three along the way. Um, one of these topics that's briefly mentioned in an introductory course and rarely or never again discussed in any later class. Somebody should really bring it up with experienced programmers. Somebody said that to me, but wanted not to be attributed. And I said, well, seems it worth a lightning talk somewhere. This seemed like a good place. Here's a classic. I think we've pretty much everywhere seen this. A famously bad comment style. There are worse ways to do it. <laughs> Don't laugh now. Wait till you see it in real life. <laughs> Rob Pike wrote that in the, I think, late 1980s, if I remember correctly. Of course, he was talking about C. But you get the point. I think it still stands. Well, you know, I mean, what are the excuses that we've heard or that we have given about comments? I don't have time now to think about them. Um, I'll put them in later. Uh, we don't have time for code reviews here, like comments are, you know, only for code reviews. Programmers, you know, we programmers are always in a hurry, right? No time for planning, no time for thinking. Let's start coding now, right? So imagine a builder who says, I don't have time for blueprints. We're just going to start nailing lumber for your house. Now, it's, the analogy is pretty close, I think. This is important. So how do we make things better? Um, you know, there's an oath that physicians take when they get their MDs. First, do no harm. This is a paraphrase of the Hippocratic Oath. Primum non nocere. So I've discovered that much of the skill in writing good comments is in knowing when we shouldn't write them. Because a comment has no value, and perhaps even negative value, if it's wrong. Why? Because you know, it's misinformation, and it really affects our thinking about a piece of code. And if it's wrong, it's, it's always wrong. It just nags at us. It distracts us. But Bad comments survive over time in a way that, you know, code just couldn't. And it turns out that even a correct comment, and I'm sure you all know this, even a correct comment can be useless or, or distracting. You know, if, if, it's, if it duplicates what the code says, if it's outdated, stale, we say sometimes, and even bad grammar can affect our perception of the code it's supposed to comment. So a comment that adds no value is waste. So remove it or rewrite it. Pretty much my opinion, those are your choices, our choices. Come on. This delay brought to you by PowerPoint. So does that really help? Yes, it does, and much more than seems obvious. I love this quote. The code is clear enough that I don't need comments, but the comments are so unclear, I'm glad the code is there to help explain them. 
you're laughing because it's happened to you, right? <laughs> you betcha. Um, our family has a favorite f author of fantasy, the late David Eddings, who wrote about his craft. He says, don't be afraid to throw away stuff that you know isn't good. Don't save junk just because it took you a long time to write it. It's still junk. And my response is, do the math. If you throw away the crap, uh, pardon me, did I say that out loud, the junk? The average quality has just gone up, right? The low outliers are gone, so the average has gone up instantly. Okay, so then what? Well, we would prefer that every comment adds value. But first, say everything as much as you can in the code. And after that, if there's something you still want to say, that's probably a reasonable candidate, at least, for a comment, for a useful comment. But first, among other things, try to name it rather than explaining it, right? Instead of explaining a poor name, give it a better name, one that's better self-describing, for example. Put in assertions instead of commenting your assumptions. That's code, right? If you have a big function, don't comment sections. Chop it up into little functions with better names and call them, all right? So here are some ideas. Oh, by the way, did you catch that last one? Rewrite bad code? Somebody actually commented, this is bad, I know. That's not helpful, sorry. But I also love what Kevlin Henney has to say on the subject. A common fallacy, especially on the part of managers in my opinion, in my experience, is to assume that authors of incomprehensible code, and we all have colleagues like that, right, will somehow be able to express themselves lucidly and clearly in comments. Can't write code, but can write comments. What a wonderful, what a wonderful piece of feedback, right? So when does a comment add value? Well, when it says something that code cannot, that's probably a very useful comment. But please, let's avoid prayers. Please, God, let this be enough. This is for real. These are not made up examples. And please also avoid apologies. <laughs> Let's please avoid laments. <laughs> Not made up, it's for real. Artwork. <laughs> Poetry, especially Susian, replaces with spaces the braces in cases where braces in places cause stasis. <laughs> Comments that are useful once, you know, every three quarters of a century. <laughs> Haley's comment. <laughs> Didn't make it up. Didn't make it up. Pop culture references. <laughs> and then there's this one. This is an old old, old, old one, and I gave you a clue. It's from the era of punch cards. Imagine this on a punch card, you pick it up, rotate it, and put it back in the deck. Suddenly you've turned off or on debugging. <laughs> hey, Eslof equals Gubed. Didn't everybody know that? I used that in, in, as an example in a course I taught 30 or 40 years ago uh, it was, it was to, to freshmen, basically. And I, I gave that example, I gave that explanation, and almost instantaneously when the last word was out of my mouth, a student in the front row, her hand just shot up. I thought her shoulder was gonna dislocate. 
And she said, wait, 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 wait. I said, what? What's the problem with that? She says, but if you turn the cart around, the slashes will be backwards. <laughs> True story. If you don't get it, you haven't been programming long enough. Sorry. <laughs> so, so the point of all this really is that we are the first, right? We are the first beneficiaries of our good comments. We are the first victims of our bad comments. If the code and the comments disagree, then both are probably wrong. That's a fairly well-known saying. The most useful comment is the one that isn't there, that doesn't have to be written. You know, don't put your name in the damn code. We have, we have repositories. We have source code control these days, like for the last how many decades? This isn't school. You're not gonna be graded per se, right? And I like this, you should only need comments when you need to warn readers about some kludge, kludge, just as on a road, there are only arrows on parts with unexpectedly sharp curves. Think about driving when there's a road sign every five yards, or meters if you drive in Europe. So here are some things that, you know, one of, one of the benefits of being retired is I get to read stuff I've always wanted to read. So here are some sources that I recommend to you. Uh, the, the one article that is in Spanish has since been translated. Um, I don't have the, the link to it, but I'm sure you can find it. And finally, there's this. Just savor this one. Thank you all very much.